hello guys it's miki welcome to my channel and if you're just into my channel please subscribe turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time is an open coming from me so i intentionally wore this top this v-neck top and armless top so that you guys get to see my um journey you know you still get to see it even though i stopped using product but i started using my product yesterday again um so see my neck the skin tag on my neck is gradually fading off and um see my hands my my chest they used to have a lot of spots had practically gone but i still have some spots on my back okay but not as visible as before and my face cream i stopped using it but i just started yesterday so the results would start showing up in a week to two weeks time so um today we're not talking about my skin generally but today we're going to be talking about questions that have been pulled now sunday videos that we tend to do i'm pulling it back so we tend to pull out questions and i tend to give you guys an honest review about each of your questions i had to write some of them down because right now ntn is really showing us shige pro max the network is really bad so um for some of the questions i had to write down um there was more or less like a congratulatory message oh mickey congratulations um god is your strength being a first time mom is not easy it is not my darling it's a lot of work but it's interesting though you know but it's a lot of work so uh, the kind of things i do before i can't do them like when i come back from work i just crash and sleep i can't do that again now i have to look at someone else i have to consider someone else before i consider myself <laughs> so it's you know it's, it's a lot but it's, it's good it's challenging and it's interesting all right so we've got a question from what percentage of hydroquinone is safe to use on the skin that's the video i made of what percentage of hydroquinone is safe to use on the skin now the question from there is is 1.8 percent safe to use the safest range of hydroquinone is from two percent to four percent now some people tend to go as far as eight percent in terms of using hydroquinone it depends it just depends on how you tend to use your product how well you know how to use your product mm. now some people go as far as saying hydroquinone is bad it tends to damage the skin if used for a long period of time without a break now when you're using hydroquinone you need to have a break the same way with steroids you need to give your skin a break all right move to a moisturizer then switch back that's what we call the switch in terms of skincare right most those products are like they are for treatment so you're not meant to use them for a long period of time just for a short period of time though in the process of treating the skin it tends to lighten the skin which we tend to use as an advantage of skin lightening right so if you want to use your hydroquinone 1.8 is safe but not for too long you don't use it for too long especially when you're using it on your face please and um, please for a short period of time so you don't end up having ochronosis right ochronosis are those dark dark things that come on the skin on the face especially it becomes dark some um, green greenish like greenish dark so people say ah, i was born with it they like you were not born with it you use some product that contain hydroquinone you just didn't know and you assumed you were probably born with it no all right so yes again 1.8 percent is safe to use on your skin now there's a question from japan platinum glutathione iv injection i did a video on that so the question is coming from that section um the question here is please can i add another glutathione powder to this one so it can be much um no now there's a mistake most uh, most of my customers tend to make then when we used to take glutathione iv injection now i don't take it and i don't advise customers to take it i'm not trying to spoil someone's business but what has happened to glutathione right now is they've reduced the quality of the product all right then i remember then I introduced you guys to um i've even forgotten q10 yeah q10 and i told you guys how to use it even when i used it just one pack made me white later you have to use like three or four packs before you get white so what are those things they mix into it to, to reduce its quality you know many of you need to ask these questions but you're not concerned about it i want to be white i want to be white you know when you're taking a supplement intake supplement it needs you need to be more cautious than even topical product topical product errors can be made all right and the errors can be corrected in no time in, in, in ingestion uh, pr uh, product this is going inside your bloodstream so you can't just take it like that without any precaution you need 
to use enough precautions when taking this product. I stopped taking it and I stopped selling it because the original products are no longer in the market. So that's why I stopped using it and I stopped selling it. So I can't be found selling products that is going to be detrimental to someone's health. Now, the question is, can I add glutathione powder to this one? In terms of using glutathione, let's say, for example, you decide to use Japan Platinum and you want to mix Procuter with Japan Platinum when taking. I don't advise that. It doesn't work. It won't work that way. Most people don't know. They feel that when they add too many glutathione um, syringes together, it will work. No, it will even darken your skin. It will take it back to, to zero stage. So if you're buying Japan Platinum, for example, stick to only Japan Platinum. The only thing you can add into all those things is you get your vitamin C and you get a collagen um, injection as well. That is the only thing you can add. But adding another glutathione on top, another glutathione, it's not done. Because um, the ingredient used for this one is different from the ingredient used for the other one. It's not the same. So most times, customers that have taken that over time, after they gave me a review, they said it took them back to zero stage zero stage meaning they went back to being very black and their skin got damaged so if you're buying japan platinum stick to japan platinum but include it with vitamin c injection as well as collagen those are the three things you can mix with collagen vitamin c and any of your glutathione but don't mix two glutathione together it's not gonna work 